What's up everybody? We are Diana and Phil. Diana here is from the United States and I, Phil, am from Germany. And in this video we're gonna go over German phrases to use in a restaurant. So I am learning German very langsam. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty slowly. Yeah. And I always think these videos help when we go over the phrases because when I edit them and rewatch them, it's awesome. Just to note, we are going to use the American and German flags because those are the countries we're from. We obviously know other countries speak those languages, but just a little disclaimer. In German, the restaurant translates to das Restaurant. Yeah, das Restaurant. Das Restaurant. Uh, we uh, kind oh. of try to use the uh, proper French pronunciation was restaurant, restaurant? Re restaurant, but uh, you know people say it differently, it's a hard word to pronounce for everybody. And yeah. I always find it funny if Americans say a restaurant. Restaurant. In German there's this fun little article, das die der, and remember for restaurant, das restaurant. Yes, it's not male or female, it's it, an item, das it, restaurant. Sure. That leads us into our first point, the mm. menu, and learning the menu. So in English we would call it the menu. In German. In German. I need to read it. Speisekarte. 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 Also Speisekarte means meal card, basically. So yeah. in German could also say, I would like to see the cart. And um, yeah. that could also be confusing to an American. So there's a little bit of confusion with the words meal versus menu. Because menu in Germany, menu, menu. we often use at places like fast food chains like McDonald's for a meal. Yeah, like a number one combo would be a menu. Yeah, menu. So, so a lot of Germans do that wrong. And if at McDonald's somebody asks you, do you want just the burger? And the German says, uh, no, I want the menu. That is the meal in German. So that's a little bit confusing. It's a little bit funny and a lot of Germans tend to do that wrong. So in Germany, most of the time they'll already bring you a menu, but in case you need to ask for one at the beginning or just ask to see it again, you can say, can I see the menu please? Which in German would be? Well, one of the versions you could say is, kann ich bitte die Karte sehen? Or kann ich bitte die Speisekarte sehen? I like the abbreviated Karte instead yeah, of fine. Speisekarte. Because I cannot remember that to save my life. It's easier. <laughs> yeah. Kann ich bitte die Karte sehen? Yeah. Everybody yeah. would understand that. Yeah. And then once you get the menu, you're probably going to see a lot of German words. So let's just go over the menu quickly on the different categories you'll most likely see. So the first one would be drinks, which is Getränke. Get yeah. Trinke? Getränke. I'm so nervous to say the words. <laughs> yeah, it's always funny with the, with the A with the dots on top, but Getränke, yeah, yeah would be drinks. Funny letters. The next category would most likely be appetizers or starters, some people call them in English. Vorspeisen. Vorspeisen. Yeah, so <laughs> appetizers, Vorspeisen means pre-dishes, basically. Vorspeisen. Vorspeisen. So the next category you'll probably see is meal or entree section, which would be Hauptgerische. Hauptgerichte, yeah. Hauptgerichte. So it's basically almost uh, directly translated for main courses. Main Hauptkursgericht. Hauptgericht. Hauptgerichte. Hauptgerichte. All right. Okay, and then next my favorite section, desserts, which is Nachspeisen. Yeah, Nachspeisen. Speisen. Yeah. <laughs> Nachspeisen. So basically post dishes. And the Speisen reoccurs. Yes, basically. the Speisen. hard Speisen. Speisen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, section number two is going to be ordering in German. Yes, so most likely the server, the waiter, waitress will come up to you and ask what would you like to eat or what would you like to drink. And you better be ready. You better be ready. <laughs> <laughs> So what would you like to drink in German is... Was möchten Sie trinken? Was möchten Sie trinken? And eat would be... Was möchten Sie essen? Was möchten Sie essen? It's important to do that hand <laughs> You have to do that. Was möchten Sie essen? I have so much spit in my mouth when I speak German. It's horrible. No, but it sounds okay. All right. They may ask in other ways, but that's probably one of the ones you'll hear. Something most likely. Like that. And then the response would most likely be, I would like to have a blank for drink or food. So I would like to have a Fanta. <laughs> Very <that> German. <laughs> ich, ich hätte gerne eine Fanta. Ich hätte gerne eine Fanta, bitte. Bitte, yeah. You can always add another bitte at the end, but the hätte gerne is already a polite version and that's the correct version to order stuff. So, yeah. ich hätte gerne eine Fanta. Ich hätte gerne eine Fanta, bitte. I'll just add in as much politeness as I can because I'll probably mess up somewhere <laughs> and it yeah. just feels better. <laughs> so if you want to order an actual meal or food, you could say, I would like a pizza. Ich hätte gerne eine Pizza. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. so you use it for everything, it's very easy, and you just uh, change the blank in the end. Change the blank, and then you're good to go. Also, if you're trying to be healthy, you can order a salad, so you could be, I would like this salad, please. So, ich hätte gerne diesen Salat, bitte? Yeah, that's very nice. Ich hätte gerne diesen Salat, bitte. Point and you have to point to it. Because there's a little room for error when it comes to the word salad. As a German, in a restaurant environment, we would distinguish more. You would say, I would like to have the Caesar salad, or I would like to have the Greek salad. Yeah. Because if you use the word salad in your household, in a kitchen environment, it means just lettuce for us. Yes, so, a lot of Germans use that wrong oftentimes when they say can you pass me the salad and they really mean just the lettuce because in german salad means actual lettuce but it also means the prepared salad that we're used to as exactly. well exactly yeah <laughs> can be confusing guys before we continue please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like that or just more about us about 90 percent of you are not subscribed so just hit that button it's down here below and it's absolutely for free if you want to support us further, we also have a Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil and you can support us there and it really helps us keep this channel going and for us just to create more videos. We have four different tiers at the moment and we wanted to take a moment to thank our soulmate and family level patrons. Our soulmate level patron, Ricky, thank you so much. You're awesome. Also, we want to thank our family member patrons, Mireya Rivera, Tony Sanchez, Rudy Zarzov, Marcus Ottensman, Fred42, and our two newest ones, John Reynosa and Stefan Prügel. And one more, Ethan Mitchell. Yes, thank you guys so much. Yeah. We really appreciate it. Thanks for all the support, but back to the video. All right, our next point, number three, is order modifications. So this is if you want to order something with or without a certain ingredient. And whenever I would order a dinner kebab, you could say, I would like a kebab without onions and with spicy sauce. Exactly. Very important to know that <laughs> sentence in Germany and it would be Ich hätte gerne einen Döner ohne Zwiebeln, aber mit scharfer Soße. So, so you need your ohne, without and mit, with. It's good to remember mit, with, ohne, without. Exactly. So what would be the Döner sentence? I would like to have a Döner without onions and with spicy sauce, please. Ich hätte gerne einen Hühnchen Döner ohne Zwiebeln. Und mit scharfe Sauce. Yeah. Bitte? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, totally fine. You added the chicken kebab. Very nice. Oh yeah, I like the chicken kebab. <laughs> All right. I would always make this mistake at the beginning because I would I would say kein means not. No. No? So I would always say kein Schwiebel bitte, meaning no onions, please? Yeah, keine Zwiebeln bitte or kein ketchup. It's perfectly fine, it's just a little more straightforward and direct, not the most polite version. Yeah. It just, it's like you order one kebab please, no onions please, it's perfectly fine. But the yeah. correct version, the polite version would be without, ohne. And you would say ohne Zwiebeln bitte, without yeah. onions please. Yeah, I, I mean I, they had no problem understanding me, but yeah. I just like to use the proper term, <laughs> the more polite term. Yeah, I think you should always be polite when ordering food and dealing with waiters and people who prepare your food. Yeah. All right, and point number four is paying or dealing with the check. Yes, in Germany you will most likely have to ask for the check. They're not just going to bring it to you. Totally. You're going to have to ask for it. So you would ask, can I have the check please? Yeah, and in German we would usually ask a little different. You would say, can I pay please? Uh, which yeah. in Germany is Kann ich bezahlen bitte? Or Kann ich bitte bezahlen? Can ich bezahlen bitte? Exactly. Can I pay please? Yeah. And I don't think in America if that's common if I ask, uh, can I pay please? Yeah. In, like what's the response? I don't know if you can. In the US we would normally ask, can I have the check please? It's just a little more polite and people would be like, of course you can pay. <laughs> like, like yeah. do you have the ability to pay? Yeah. Can it's I pay? Thing. Uh, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But in German uh, you would phrase it like that, I guess, most of the times and it's, can ich bitte bezahlen? Kann ich bitte bezahlen? And then they'll be like, sure, yeah. they come to you in a minute. And normally when they come to you, they will ask, is it together or separate? Yeah, exactly. If you're a bigger party, more than two people, and it's obvious that you're not a family or whatever, yeah. they ask, zusammen oder getrennt? Zusammen oder getrennt? Yeah. So together or separate? Yeah, right? together, zusammen, separately, getrennt. 
yeah. And normally in Germany, you pay then and there. The servers will have either like a fanny pack of coins or they will go and get the card reader for you. Yeah. And you have to tell them the total amount then and there. You don't leave the tip like you do in the US. So yeah. if it's like 45 or 42 and you want to just say 50, you could say, keep the change. Is that a thing? <laughs> so if I get 50, I would just say, stimmt so. Stimmt so. Yeah, meaning this is correct, like AKA, this is the amount you get, like no change. <laughs> this is accurate here, yeah. yeah. no further discussion. <laughs> or you would say something like, if you give him a hundred and you want to make it 50, you say make it 50 so he knows you to get your 50 back. So you just say the number and you would say make it 50 or 50 please, as in 50 bitte. You just say the number and then yeah. they know they give you change to 50 euros. Yeah, so if I give them just a little more and I say stimmt so, that's fine, right? That's the tip and then... Done. Transact in Transaction is over. Fertig. That was such a new experience for me dealing with it then and there. I'm so used to leaving the tip on the table or something. So. Yeah, it's not anonymous tipping. <laughs> you have to deal with it right there, right now, and they know exactly how much you're tipping. Yeah, you need to do the math quickly in your head. Go! Yeah. <laughs> Point number five is gonna be manners. Do not forget your manners when you're speaking another language or when you're speaking your own language for that matter. Exactly. So remember your please and thank yous. If you're just nervous speaking or you try and you always add bitte, which is please at the end of everything, I think they will appreciate it. Most people that I've spoken to have. Yeah, that's way more forgiving if you use it. I mean, Germans can see when you struggle with the language <laughs> yeah. and if you add the bitte, the bitters in the beginning, in the middle, in the end, they just know you're trying and you're being nice about it. Yeah, and thank you would be Dankeschön, Danke. Dankeschön, or the short version, which everybody uses most of the time, Danke. Yeah, and I think for English speakers, Danke is so much easier because thank you is two syllables and Danke is two yeah. syllables too. But you like to say the long one, which is Dankeschön. Bitte schön. No. <laughs> These are some of the phrases I found very useful for me, even though we don't really go out to eat a lot in restaurants. Yeah, especially now. Yeah, especially now. They were still applicable at like cafes or something. So they're really helpful to me and I hope they can help someone out there too. Yeah, I think it's very daily stuff. Um, it's definitely useful, but this is gonna be it for this video today. Let us know in the comments if you've used any of these phrases or if you know of any different ways to say them. There are a lot of ways you can probably order, but these are just some of the ones that we use most often. All right, everybody, stay safe at home. As always, thank you so much for watching and we're gonna see you next time. Bye. Bye.